Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. South Africa will host the BRICS Summit in KwaZulu-Natal next week. Keith Campbell joins me to discuss the significance of this. Hi, Keith. What is the significance of this event? Well, actually, you put your finger on a very important point. There is a gigantic difference in significance in the event for the different participants. Basically, for South Africa, it's very significant. It gives the country major projection in the world stage. It allows the country, and particularly the head of state and government, President Zuma, to share a platform with uh, other leaders who are now regarded as world leaders. And it makes the country appear uh, to be an influential player in the global scene. For the other four members, Brazil, Russia, India, and China, it has much, much less significance. Uh, if BRICS disappeared tomorrow, it would not affect their status or power in the world at all. Indeed, it is significant, for example, that the new Chinese president, uh, uh, Xi Jinping, visited Russia only days before the BRICS summit in order to have bilateral meeting with his Russian counterpart, uh, Vladimir Putin. Likewise, the big four, Brazil, Russia, India, and China, tend to make key decisions on a bilateral basis, not through the BRICS forum. Thus, Pre President Rousseff of Brazil was in Moscow in December, and a major Brazilian decision uh, to buy Russian air defense systems has been made again, effectively uh, revealed to the public during a bilateral uh, ministerial meeting uh, in recent weeks. The other interesting thing is that the BRICS summit gets quite a bit of press coverage in South Africa, including, of course, our discussion uh, here. A check on the internet reveals very little coverage in the Brazilian or Indian media. Indeed, in the Indian media, the main focus is on the fact that Prime Minister Manmohan Singh will have his first meeting with President Xi in Durban. The, the, but the focus of the reporting is on the bilateral meeting and BRICS appears basically simply as the venue. So in terms of significance, huge disparities between the BRIC on the one hand and the S South Africa on the other. For South Africa, it is important. For the others, it's much less so. What are the, some of the major topics to be discussed at the summit? Well, these include a proposal for a BRICS development bank and a foreign exchange pool that would help uh, countries deal with uh, major foreign exchange flows. The South African Minister of Agriculture has also said that food security will be on the agenda. However, it must be pointed out that the South African Finance Minister, Pravin Gordon, has warned against excessive expectations and that in recent days, uh, Chinese officials have indicated that the issue of a BRICS development bank is very complex and is unlikely, we're unlikely to see any major decisions at this BRICS summit though they do hope that progress will be made on uh, the topic and on the foreign exchange uh, pool. But they're not expecting any final decisions. And they indicate they see these objectives as being far from resolved, far from consolidated at this moment. What important outcomes can we expect? Well, that, that's a very difficult uh, question to answer. As I uh, already said, the Chinese are downplaying uh, the chances of any substantial agreement on the really important issues. The other question of, uh, for example, food security is rather nebulous. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, it's a concept almost unknown to the Brazilians who've got fantastically productive agriculture. Indeed, South Africa's chicken farming sector is in grave 
difficulties because of the formidable competition from the Brazilian sector. So if the South Africans are thinking of using BRICS to try and reduce competition from, say, a country like Brazil, I don't think they're going to get very far. From a South African perspective, simply holding the summit, simply having President Zuma on the stage of these leaders of what are in fact far more powerful countries is itself a significant outcome. In terms of something really substantial, I doubt if anything will come out of it. It must not be forgotten that BRICS is a loose alignment. It is not, as some in South Africa say, an alliance at all. Um, and it's got very narrow, limited aims. It's basically focused on restructuring global economic governance, global financial governance. South Africa would like this to be expanded, and President Putin of Russia has indicated he'd like this to be expanded. But attempts to expand the remit of BRICS will only bring out the contradictions within the group more clearly and would most likely lead not to a strengthening of the group but to its disintegration. Fundamentally, though India and China trade with each other, though they cooperate in various areas, though they want to maintain peaceful relations, they do have very severe uh, and deep mutual concerns, security concerns about each other. And the fact that there's often forgotten outside Brazil is that Brazilians perceive themselves to be a Western country as part of the West and in no way as part of a, of a rival bloc to the West. So I think the outcomes are likely to be good from South Africa's point of view, but largely symbolic. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.